Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello everybody, very good day today, we will continue previous lecture, human error classification and causes. So, you have seen in my last lecture which, uh, which is lecture 41, uh, I explained these four points that related to production system and then how the that de deficiencies at different across different level uh, is basically from human contribution point of view uh, lead to um, accident. Then, uh, then uh, definition of human error was given to you from generic definition to working definition. In this lecture, I, we will discuss the classification of human error causes of human errors and bottlenecks and generic error modeling system maybe 25 to 30 minutes of time we will finish this lecture. So, if you recall that in the last class I uh, stopped by giving this example I said that that there is there is stimulus and then the operator function is there and finally, accordingly based on stimulus operator function ultimately decide the actions which is basically responses and accordingly we have discussed error in information, error in instruction, error in organization or decision process and error in operation. And with reference to this example we have seen. Now, I will carry forward this example further and we will see some of some more issues particularly from classification point of view. Then if I if I if I recall my previous lecture that is lecture 41 we have said to you also that that whenever any work is carried out the there is end state which is basically the objective to be achieved if and in order to achieve the objectives or the objective or the goal. So, a set of series of planned physical or men and or mental activities to be carried out there can be problem or error in planning or there can be error or problem in execution. So, if everything planned correctly and executed correctly you will achieve the desired goal that is successful work. If you planned correctly, but not execute correctly then what will happen it is basically execution error primarily comes under sleep and lapse based on the region classification what we have seen in last lecture. Suppose your planning is wrong, but executed correctly then it will be lead to mistakes and another one is what I, I have said based on this example uh, based on this uh, concept that other suppose planning is correct execution can be done correctly but intentionally done wrongly that means not followed the procedure intentionally that is known to the person who is doing it that will go to the violation. So, in between successful action and violation there are human error in terms of slips and lapses and mistakes. So, with this basic framework we will further process or progress. So, here let me repeat this case again. 
So, you have seen in the accident precursor in the last class, I said that based on region, this is also we have taken from region 1990 book. So, based on reason that act, unsafe acts, when accident takes place, you immediately relate to unsafe acts. There are precursors to unsafe acts. Then these precursors are again a result of line management deficiencies, and line management deficiencies also are influenced by the uh, decision makers' deficiencies or fallible decisions. Okay. Now, if you investigate any accident and if you found or when you inspect the workplace, you may find out that there are some unsafe acts which are basically the active cause of accident. Okay. So, the unsafe act can be unintended actions, can be intended actions. As I told you, the intended one comes under violation. So, SOP is created so that the people know that what to be done, when to be done, how to be done, all those things are there. Suppose you are not following those, then there will be violations, SOP is violated, it may be routine violation, exceptional violations, act or of sabotage, etc. So, so that means one and violations. So, when it is unintended, unsafe act is unintended, if unsafe act is intended, it is violation. If unsafe act is unintended, then you see sleep, lapse and mistake. So, here basic error types that is why sleep, lapse and mistake and I have given you that when sleep, when lapse and when mistake. Inadvertently pushing wrong button is sleep. De deliberately falling to follow procedure is intention and press a wrong button is mistake. Because in the planning itself, you have said press the button which was wrong, so that is mistake. But suppose the uh, suppose uh, wrongly when it was not as planned. So, that during execution time in a suddenly inadvertently if you push wrong button that will lead to sleep. So, now sleep takes place because of attention problem. Last class I showed sleep, sleep and lapse, but we have not differentiated the two in that manner. So, attention problem leads to sleep, memory failures lead to lapse. So, intrusion, omission, reversal, misordering, mismatching, these are all coming under attention problem. Omitting planned items, place, losing, forgetting, all those things are coming under lapse. Okay. And then when you are talking about mistakes, then Rasmussen has given three performance levels. One is skill based, another one is rule based and knowledge based. So, there can be rule based mistakes, there can be knowledge based mistakes. But and, and if we talk about the sleep and lapse, this basically primarily at the skill level. So, you see Rasmussen classification what happened again. So, there will be some routine jobs which may be you are doing, doing regularly and I, other way I can say it is almost habitual that you have to do these things and accordingly you develop skill and whenever given that work you are doing it. So, in that skill level work sleep and lapses can take place. 
but when it is rule or knowledge based rule means there are some kind of if then rules do this if condition this do this condition this do this some if then rules are set then what happened the rule may be no incorrect not planned properly so rule based mistakes will be there knowledge based mistake mean it is not rule because there is no set rules that by which you will do it is basically your total knowledge will decide given the situation you you process based on your experience and knowledge and take decision and do the and, and take actions so then that will be knowledge based mistakes so if i say decision maker line management they are primarily will be the knowledge based mistakes okay so maybe the supervisor uh, or at the line management means line management level there can be rule based mistake also but a worker level there can be rule skill uh, or, or there may be primarily skill skill based work now a, a rule based work if you do suppose a particular work with the same set of rules you are doing several years so then finally it will be it will be converted to skill okay so that's why not only did slip lapse and mistake you also required to know whether the activity is a skill based activity or rule based activity or knowledge based activity and then then and that mean first level task classify skill based task rule based task knowledge based task and then see that what kind of error that occurs if it is skill based usually slip and lapse will be occurring if it is rule based or knowledge based there will be mistakes and violations you know okay now <clears throat> to in order to understand little better manner because how when human is involved so there is another concept called operator action tree it is some something like event tree diagram is developed to further uh, stress on the classification so that you will you will not for you will, you will be able to uh, do it and identify the errors what kind of errors what is this classification this is some event occurs then the what human will your work you have to detect that event occurs after detection you diagnose that what it is and based on diagnosis you take res action or response then what will happen depending on action there will be recovery or no recovery situation and finally that failure will take place okay so abnormal event occurs this is the first page for example power transmission failure loss of water to heat exchanger in our case over pressure condition in the pressure tank example so how do you know abnormal in event occurred suppose alarm sounds alarm sounds because this is an indication of abnormal event that over pressure condition then op what is the this is then you have to detect each operator see the pressure gauge so detection deviant instrument readings pressure gauge says yes over pressure condition has taken pressure gauge there is deviation from the normal now diagnosis the operator will after seeing the reading he should then are what should be what should be the response to be taken so there can be diagnosis problem by the operator and then or he diagnose it fully that yes it is over pressure situation then he ultimately close the or the open sorry close the pump means open the contact 
so this is my given the abnormal situation this is the successful one this is success ok now what happen alarm sounds and ultimately detection is not done this situation this is non response why detection is not done that that depend whether it is non response it is because of violation or because of any mistake but ultimately these are the things to be done so in between you find out there is there is mistake there is sleep and lapse okay and another term we will be using here which is recover so what is diagnosis diagnosis is assess the situation identify planned response and determine actions so what diagnosis it will be pressure gauge shows that it is basically beyond the limit okay so what diagnosis that mean that mean diagnosis means you have to open the contact suppose operator failed to open the contact because he thought that that the that operator will be timed out soon and whatever excess pressure is there that will be that will be released by relief valve okay that situation may happen so what happened when the diagnosis is successful but the action was not taken means contact was not made open so in that case if relief valve occur a relief valve sorry if relief valve works pressure will be released and suppose timer at that time also get disconnected then recover but if that will not happen ultimately lead to over pressure situation and which ultimately may be after some time it will lead to tank rupture but this is that mean action was this action actually uh, recovery has taken place even though wrong action is taken place another one wrong actions no recovery that is sleep and lapse so let me repeat again if first is alarm sounds pressure gauge alarm pressure gauge successful diagnosis successful then response is contact open success so here response so diagnosis successful contact is not open Re, that mean action is not taken correctly so in that case what happened it if really valve works timer timed out also automatic up maybe within that minutes then recovery another one action not taken no recovery no recovery it lead to it is basically slips and falls lapse and slip now diagnosis is not taken failure diagnosis failed so even in that case what happened the relief valve and timer may relief valve release the pressure and timer may get disconnected in that case again another recovery will take place suppose that recovery will not take place then it is the mistake so diagnosis is failed that means these are the steps to be carried out but during diagnosis failure has taken place that means there is diagnosis that procedure the planned uh, steps was not Correct step was not there, so it is a mistake. Other one is response. So this is what is the classification. This one we have taken uh, the developed by this IAEA nineteen ninety one and it is given in Kumamoto Hanle. We have taken from Kumamoto and Hanle. This is a better one um, from execution point of view because the engineers will be. interested in this 
sleep labs and um, mistake and all those things the definition is one and here basically this is the actual actually what will happen during that time what are the actions to be taken from that point of view it is given so it it basically help you to do the work uh, in a better manner because engineering point of view okay uh, but bo uh, none of them are basically inferior to other hmm, they are complementary to each other and the uh, uh, sleep labs mistake classification that from the psychology point of view the how brain works that point of view and this one basically more working point of view ok. So, nevertheless we will use both the uh, concepts and we will try to uh, uh, take one which one most suited to the given conditions given given work. Then I will come to the that why these kind of errors occur. Broadly, individual organization and safety culture are responsible for this. Now, what are the individual factors, what are the organization factor, how safety culture will ultimately lead to this kind of error, uh, errors or erroneous situations that there are lot of literature available and you will find out a plenty of factors in many uh, in fact in performance we will be discussing later performance shaping factors. So, there we will discuss further. Here basically uh, that from as we are dealing more on the that sleep lapse mistakes those point of view. So, we, we will discuss little bit of brain bottlenecks here. This one I have taken from this book Kumamutu and Henle. And there they have basically given the human uh, and, and computer analogy that there is short memory, long term memory. So, there is old CPU and new CPU, CPU means central processing unit and new CPU is basically the short term memory and they, there it is, uh, it is given that the new CPU is the problematic one and it creates lot of um, problem means from the human error occurrence point of view it has the maximum contribution ok. So, in uh, then they have described the brain bottlenecks I will just read out the brain bottlenecks here because it is impossible to give each and every case the example, but these descriptions are simple. So, uh, the, uh, you will be able to understand it and given a case you just find out what actually happened and accordingly uh, accordingly take the actions. First one is shortcut that is brain bottleneck. What does it mean? Simplification of things to reduce workload. For example, I can tell you suppose uh, when alarm sounds the operator see the pressure gauge and then contact the uh, contact should be opened suppose this is the SOP. So, and, and you are as you think that ok why should I see the pressure gauge alarm sounds. So, obviously, there is over pressure then you open the contact. So, what will happen ultimately tank will be tank will be charged with gas, but below the desired level of pressure. Then procedural step or system element irrelevant to execution of task are discarded system element irrelevant to execution of task are discarded. So, okay, some, some steps, some elements may apparently uh, may be ap you are thinking that it is not relevant. So, they you, you, you started discussing uh, discarding because to um, save time protection devices or safety related procedures are always neglected. You assume that ok protection is there it is working. For example, uh, in case of burn injury, so there is an, one, one uh, that mitigation mechanism is 
there will be the shower. So, immediately the person any kind of burn you will be you will be put under the shower and this is a protection device or let it be the uh, working near the welding machine. So, the eye protection. So, many a times what happened those protection devices and these are neglected. So, that ultimately then resulted uh, resulting into safety problems. So, shortcut is one of the brain bottleneck we used to do it. Second one is perseverance believing an explanation that fits the current situation ok that fits the current situation. So, given a situation you you, you, you have you have several explanation, but you believe you have a particular belief ok the student suppose the student is absent to the class then you uh, as a teacher if you believe that he was definitely sleeping and then accordingly you take actions, but actually it may be a medical reason because he is not feeling good, but even though he has come to the class. So, that means other possible reasons you will forget, you will simply believe that, uh, that th this explanation fits several times. So, it is the explanation that is basically perseverance. Third one is tax fixation people preoccupied with one particular task because of task prioritization leads to ignorance of other important task. Hmm. So, <clears throat> so that may, it is as I told you that the entire end go uh, objective will be achieved only when you will basically do the all the task activities given to you task can be further broken down into activities also. Now, what I mean, but you like some ta or uh, like some task or you give priority to that task and you start uh, doing that one what you like or what you then accordingly you prioritize. So, and then you neglect the other important task. So, ultimately that also lead to your human error. Then alteration engineer constantly changes decision while basic information is not changing which leads to unavailability of systematic responses. This is a interesting one please see you are not getting the suppose desired result you change decision while basic information is not changing you have not collected any further information. You are, you are taking decision based on previous or old information and you are again changing it without collecting other information. So, what will happen ultimately? you will land into wrong decision making. Then dependencies, excessive dependencies on other personnel, on routine procedure at automatic controllers in indicators are sometimes harmful. Suppose alarm sounds that means over pressure, but alarm can be erroneous, false alarm, spurious alarm. So, you should not be dependent on alarm only because you are giving another uh, another uh, steps check the pressure gauge. So, there is possibility of both failing is much much less, but you you have seen earlier that ok whenever alarm sounds you found out out of 100 times you have observed and you found out that 95 times it works or 99 times you it works. So, you have you have de you are dependent on it. In that case over pressure condition can be protected, but under pressure can be, cannot. The naivety humans want trained tend to perform task bypassing the new CPU that is basically short term memory as I told you. What does it mean basically? <coughs> basically that you have suppose you, you are trained to do something and long back you done it is it has gone to your let it be long term memory lately, but new information comes you have ignored that new information you have simply because of your based on your previous training what is there you started doing this. In that case 
this is because thought process is occupied with inductive logic and probability which more often fails non stationary and planned emergencies then queuing and escape it is happening to me now because i have so many work so what i am doing as i am not able to cope up with this load what i am doing i am saying okay save this work or write down some uh, some piece of paper we will do later that is basically you are making the queue of the work and ultimately you are not doing you are escaping so this occur when workload is too high so this is the precursor to to workload high workload is precursor to x x uh, and same acts so you are not doing it you are basically queuing it and escaping it then gross discrimination neglecting detailed information qualitative rather quantitative information is collected because quantitative information collection is a difficult one time consuming one because there is a measurement involved so better you ask some people some information some qualitative information you will get and then what happen accordingly you take actions so that will also lead to human error cheating and lying no need of explanation what is cheating and lying so so when you analyze human error when you analyze accident due to human error then suppose you want to also find out the that how to recover from those errors then this brain bottlenecks if you if you analyze and finally you are able to link to this then perhaps uh, your analysis will be not perhaps your definitely your analysis will be much stronger then <coughs> then <coughs> another important uh, classification here that is in terms of uh, error tendencies which is basically given by reason 1998 that he found out that what are the Uh, on how human proneness to error that is the tendency to commit error similarity bias similarity bias we we we, uh, we, we used to face this problem because uh, if we find that similar situation and which is which 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 can be explained with earlier case some matching is possible then we consider that okay okay so this is the reason so but it may not be the reason reason may be something different so when we basically diagnose diagnose, diagnose something that in, in as soon as we get some matching with the previous experience we say uh, it, yes this is the case so this is known as similarity bias frequency bias is which happens many a times suppose we match with the with the how many times that the similar situation occur if the highest probability one we will consider so it may be the case a unique case which is not uh, not having any previous uh, occurrences so in that case you will face problem this is basically the pattern matching first one is pattern matching second one is highest probability high frequency third one is bounded rationality people have only limited mental resources for diagnosis because of this because you given a situation i will ask you if if we uh, it said that okay you tell what are the possible ways it can happen and you will find out that after one or two you have nothing to more to say why it is happened there are some people who can tell 10 10 different ways Uh, that this may happen but there are many who basically after one or two your you, your that memory that means resource is exhausted that means that is bounded rationality you are rational but your knowledge your mental process diagnosis process your resource total resource is limited imperfect uh, uh, rationality people rarely make diagnosis according to statistical decision theory logic etc okay 
and in fact if you if you try to tell that okay there what is the statistic what is the evidence then people will say eh, everything cannot be uh, judged by uh, evidence uh, eh, this happens like this you prove a yeah, yes, uh, imperfect uh, irrational thing to rational also sometimes then reluctant rationality people perform diagnosis that makes maximum minimizes conscious thinking you do not want to tax your brain why unnecessarily putting lot of things in the brain and you do your when you are diagnosis so you want to minimize the cognitive load so then that will be reluctant rationality incomplete and imperfect incorrect knowledge so <clears throat> even if if you see all the engineering uh, that concepts uh, not concept all the engineering application said when we basically talk about many of the concepts we basically discussed for example elasticity elastic suppose we are uh, behavior of for example roof fall in underground mine roof fall takes place so the roof behavior uh, that one we want to judge but we don't have complete knowledge of roof behavior we have some theoretic theories like elastic uh, the model uh, elastoplastic model but they are basically they are not the exact reality they are approximation of the reality so approximation of the reality means there is incompleteness incorrectness so that also lead to human error okay so after this i will just finish today's lecture uh, with this generic error modeling uh, system developed by reason so in fact i have taken from his book reason 1990 so here um, interestingly that the skill knowledge and rule based task as well as the sleep lapse and mistake that uh, both are com both are combined together and then when it is skill based work then sleep and uh, sleep s l i p sleep and mistake lapses can takes place rule based mistakes and knowledge based mistakes so how do you basically model the human error with this classification and what when you say it is rule based mistake when you say it is sleep and lapse when you say it is knowledge based mistake so this uh, broad modeling framework is given by reason, by reason so when we say it is skill based then basically it is the routine actions routine things you are doing and uh, every day and ultimately it is it is uh, converted to when it is a skill means given a time you can do any time you can do this that's why it is skill you have the skill given that work you will be able to do it and we have seen that in the skill based case previously i have i have given you that there are two kinds of problem one is attention problem another one is memory problem so given the routine base routine action in familiar environment then you are asking that attentional check on progress of actions is there attention problem if it is then then it is okay or not okay so attentional checks on progress of actions is attentional check taken place so if it is okay then ultimately the goal state is there so that mean routine work attention work and memory uh, memory lapse of type of work that you first check and if the attention lapse all those things takes place <clears throat> so then you are understanding that attention check on progress of action yes that okay then if it is not that no 
then what will happen <coughs> there is a problem means you are when you are not able to relate this routine actions with attention and lapse memory problem so then what is required there is higher level problem so this problem when you analyze consider local state information is the pattern familiar if then rule is there is the pattern familiar so you analyze this with the local information and are you able to find out some kind of patterns if, if there is a pattern then ultimately some there will be some stored rules because of different patterns rules are given okay in fact we have discussed safety ontology much earlier where we have derived certain patterns if this then this then this this is going to happen suppose you are this when you are analyzing then you are able to find out that similar pattern when you are activities or task you are performing you are able to find its pattern then you have you apply that rule if then uh, that rule if the problem is solved then you go to gold state and after applying the rule suppose the problem is not solved then you again check the problem okay now what will happen here when after uh, understand analyzing the problem with local information suppose you are finding out that there is no pattern one is there is pattern there is no pattern so when there is no pattern no rule can be framed so it's a issue of knowledge base so then you recall is there any other higher level analogy which can be applied here and then some rule can be generated some pattern can be identified so this lead to this so if there is some analogy found again it can, that rule can be extracted and you will be applying if problem solved finds otherwise again you repeat this but suppose there are no higher level analogy which is available to you so then you say non found and in that case it is purely your knowledge will work revert to mental model of the problem space analyze more abstract relation between structure and function and then infer diagnosis formulate corrective actions like this and this is your ultimately this again is the problem solved if not go to problem and repeat this and sub subsequent attempts in between attempts will be there ok very abstract way I have described this without any proper case with this case because this kind of case development is a, is a time consuming task also and our sole purpose is to give you this information and with those information or those techniques or the concept modeling concept you will be able to use it uh, in, in future and that is our belief and our expectation from you also. And I must uh, say that this is the book which I I rely on for this this lecture as well as this previous lecture heavily and I have uh, taken material from this book while understanding the concepts also then this is another uh, that paper published in reliability which also we have used and in addition I have read all the, those paper like Marvin Russell this book also as well as our own paper uh, that uh, the, from there also we have gathered some information but mostly if you ask me about that this uh, this present uh, lecture as well as the previous lecture I will tell you that please go through this book the relevant chapters and go through this with the relevant chapter uh, with, with this paper uh, and I hope that you will be able to understand the concepts and the theoretical underpinning 
what we have done here for human error. So, in next few classes, we will go into more engineering way of understanding, identifying and quantifying human errors. And the psychological part is also very, very important when we are talking about human error. But um, we want to identify human error, quantify human error and at the same time we want to prevent that human error should not occur and we, 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 we will more rely on the engineering intervention of engineering way of doing things and accordingly we will also discuss human reliability analysis in some of the lectures. Thank you for listening.